You probably use Google every day. But do you ever think about what your friends and colleagues will learn about you if they could see your history on Google? Whenever you buy something online, check your email, or use your e-banking, there is a mathematical tool running behind the scene to make sure that people cannot steal your information. This tool is called cryptography. My name is Claudio Orlandi, and I research cryptographic protocols at Aarhus University. In my research, I don't need big laboratories or expensive machines. You could say my lab is in my head. As a researcher, I spend most of my time thinking about how much I don't know. So, how did I end up in Aarhus? Well, I was living in Florence and close to the end of my studies. And I decided I wanted to learn more about cryptography. So I looked at the pile of the papers I studied, and this guy was named all the time, Ivan Damgos. Mm. So I googled him, and I found out he's in Aarhus. Where is that? So I google Aarhus, and I find it's in Denmark. And where is that? Somehow we must be able to do names. Would this work in, in the sense of a... Uh... At that time, I had no idea how my life would be in Denmark. All my schools and university had been less than three kilometers from where I was born. Like a good Italian, I packed my suitcase with pasta, olive oil and my grandma's tomato sauce because I was afraid of the food I would find up here. But once I got to Denmark, I fell in love with the way things are. I really like that Denmark is a very flat society. Compared to other countries, here it does not really matter if you are leading the company or cleaning the offices. Everyone should be treated nicely and have a good life. I really like working with other people, and I think it's the right way to get good results. At computer science, there are 15-20 people working with cryptography, half of which are not from Denmark. Ivan is the head of the group, and is one of the most famous in this field. So, you might think he's always busy and it's impossible to talk to him, but really he's always available and happy to answer all your silly questions. In weekends and evenings we hang out together, especially with the people coming from abroad. Your fellow PhD students and the rest of the group becomes kind of your family. When you start doing research, you think you're smart, but then you're thrown in with the big fish and you spend most of your time having no idea how to solve the problems in front of you. If I get two, three really good ideas in one year, I would say that that was a good year. And that means uh, 362 days of failure. But you get used to it.